Hey, hey, everyone. This is Carol J. Dunlop, your online WOW strategist and number one international best-selling author of, hold on one second, I get the book, because it's here. Yay, this is a book. I got the proof, and um, I'm just so excited. <laughs> so this is day one of 10 days that I'm going to come to you and share the strategies that are in the book, because the name of the book is 10 Ways for Savvy Entrepreneurs to Stand Out, Stop Struggling, and Start Profiting. So we're going to talk about how you can start profiting in just a sec. But give us a little time to um, share this and get going. So I want you all to I want you all to be able to um, experience this. So let me share this really quickly. Let me put that up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so just hang in there one second, and I'm going to share this out. So make sure I get maximum views on it. Um, wait a minute. Hold on one second. Oh, there we go. There we go. Da, 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 da. Okay, I hope everyone's doing good this morning. I am. Look at this hair. Pull this over. There we go. It it doesn't want to look. It doesn't want to do right. <laughs> That's okay. What the heck? If I can get this out of my face, and and I'm looking at it backwards. That's why I'm doing it. Okay, let me see. Where is the thing at? There we go. There we go. Let's let's share it. I'm gonna share it a little bit. So hold on a second. I'm just gonna say join me now. So we're gonna get started in a bit. I'm typing on my iPad, just so you know. So get settled. Get a cup of coffee and then come on back. Join me live now. Post. I mean, I like it. Don't know. Okay, why is it acting up? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know how to do it now. Thought I didn't, but I do. Okay, share. I gotta share two more. Two more. Just give me a give me a sec in the group. Join me live for now. And group. I'll market your business. Okay, one more share. Uh, right. It takes forever. They need to come up with a better system that you can share stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, social media. Social media secret sauce. Okay. One more. Um, my timeline. Okay. Okay. Now I'm ready. That should be enough. <laughs> All right, we're going to get started. So if, hold on a second, this way. There we go. Now I got it right. All right. So today I'm going to be talking about how to be the authority in your niche. And I'm going to cover what that means, why it's important, how you're going to do it, and then what, what's next, what, what's going to secure this whole thing. So first of all, if you don't know who I am, I am Carol J. Dunlop, the online wild strategist. I help women entrepreneurs to um, I help women entrepreneurs to market them who struggle with marketing marketing themselves effectively online. And when my clients finish working with me, they experience more traffic to their website, higher visibility to their brand, and more clients in their business. So if you want any of that, you are in the right place. So let's get started on this, how to be the authority in your niche. And how do you do that? The number one way to do that is to, ta-da, write a book. 
write a book, not necessarily like this one, but a book that shows that you are the, you are the authority. So I did that. So this is actually a real book. See, look at that. Look at the pages. It's so awesome. I am so happy about this book being out. It's just, blah, I can't even, I can't even share it. It's like, it's like having a baby only, only better because then I don't have to um, change the baby. <laughs> I don't have to feed the baby. I don't have to lose sleep over it because I lost all that sleep beforehand. So anyway, um, that's the book, Unmarket Your Business, 10 Ways for Savvy Entrepreneurs to Stand Out, Stop Struggling, and Start Profiting. Now, the number one way for you to be the authority in your niche is to write your own book. Why? Why is that important? So if you don't know, writing a book makes people look up to you and watch for you. They see that you've already done it. Writing a book is not for the faint of heart. Writing a book is something huge. And before I actually wrote this book, I didn't realize how big it really was and how much effort it took and how just the enormity of the whole thing. Now I can say, I'm an author. I wrote the book and boom. So, and then what else happens is people watch out for you because if they read your book, even a piece of it, and Something that you wrote in that book helps them. It helps them feel some kind of way, like awesome. It helps them do something awesome. It helps them be something awesome. Even in just a little bitty quote or a little small arena, they're going to watch for you. So that's what writing a book does for you. It Also, they watch for what you say. They watch for when something's playing. Hey, Paulette, what's going on? Hey, good to see you, girl. They um, watch for things that you write, and they watch for what you post. So that's what writing a book does for you. Also, they w uh, writing a book will get them to know you, like you, trust you, and buy from you. Because let's face it, all of us are in this business, whatever we're doing, to make money to fund our lifestyle. Whatever our lifestyle is, if our lifestyle is traveling the world, serving God in some type of way, we got to have some money, right? If our lifestyle is to lay on the beach, drink some Mai Tais, which I like that. Hey, hey, Paulette, I like it. Um, then writing a book is going to help you do that. Writing a book helps you do all the things. It helps, you, it helps to make your dreams come true. And it helps people to, like I said, get to know you because they may not have known you before your book was out, but now they do. It gets people to get to like you because they read about things that you've put in the book. They start trusting you, which means they look out for what you're saying. They kind of go, hmm, when you say something, when they do it, it works. Boom. Have a perfect example. Um, I was on a uh, the live that I did a couple of weeks ago when I was talking about uh, talking about the launch of the book. I had, and I said, if you buy the book in pre-sale, you get a 15-minute strategy session with me. Well, one of the ladies took me up on that. We had a strategy session. We went over what her business is, what she needed to be doing. I gave her several tips, but one tip she followed. She followed that tip, and then she emailed me. She said, Carol, guess what? She, out, out of all the people that had um, posted on this lady's post, the woman contacted her. How awesome is that, right? Just one piece of advice I gave to her, and it started to work. So that's what a book can do for you. A book will get you noticed. A book will make you stand out because, number one, you wrote the doggone thing. How many people have written a book? Not many. So you're going to stand out. And a book proves that you know your stuff because if you wrote a book, you have to know something, right? <laughs> So how how do we, how do we do this? How do we do this whole thing? How do we get this book written? Because I know a lot of people think about, hmm, I need I want to write a book. People have always told me I, I needed to write a book, but I don't know how to do it. So that's what this is about. How to be an authority in your niche today? I'm going to share with you how to get this book done, how to get it out there, so you can take advantage of that no like and trust factor, so people start buying from you. So number one, you want to figure out what type of book you're going to write. There are several types that you could write. You could write a how-to, so how to do something, how to do something you've perfected. How, maybe you're in ministry. How did you get your ministry going? What are the steps if you want to help someone else do a ministry? What are the steps that they need to do? Maybe you want to write a memoir, which is kind of like the story of your life. 
Now, if you're not famous or if people aren't Googling you every 10 minutes, then the story of your life may not seem like it's important, but it's going to be important to someone. Maybe you've overcome some obstacle, you've gone through something awesome, and now, you know, you started here, but now you're here. That journey in between there, people want to know about that. So don't discount your journey just because people aren't Googling you every 10 minutes. And maybe it's a self-help book. Maybe you're trying to help someone do something better, be something better, or know something more. Self-help is big. So, you know, those, those are just three types. There's some others. So I want to tell you about my story and how I got my book written. I decided I wanted to do, it's kind of like, it's not really a self-help, but it's kind of like a how-to kind of a hybrid, I guess, of a how-to, a memoir, and a self-help. The self-help part is helping you make your business successful. The how-to part is how to do these strategies that I've outlined in the book. And then the memoir part, I have stories in the beginning of each chapter about something that I've gone through in my life or something that I've helped my clients with. And then I also have case studies of actual clients that I've helped. So it's a little bit of a hybrid of those three things, but that's okay. I mean, you can be strictly one or the other. You can, you can do what you want. The thing is to get your book done, right? So to write your book, I have five ways that you need to, five steps you can go through to get your book done. So I'm going to go through those right now. Okay, number one is a writing schedule. My writing schedule was I would wake up early. I always wake up early between 5 and 6 o'clock. Sometimes I sleep late. You know, being an entrepreneur, you kind of do what you want. And sometimes I get up early. But I, I knew that between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. was my prime time that I could get things written. I'd already had my coffee. I was up. I was awake. And I could actually think. So I set my, I set my schedule to write from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m., Monday through Friday. Well, Monday through Saturday, really. Not on Sunday, because Sunday I try to rest and not just stay off the computer, my husband says. No electronics, <laughs> except to Skype with my grandkids. But that's what I did. And I did that for, and I wrote the book in 90 days. I got the whole thing finished in 90 days, believe it or not. Yes, I did. And how did I do that? I, I hand wrote my book on a pad. Not a yellow pad, but a white pad. This, this is my quirky thing that I did. And then I typed it into the, into the computer. So I got it written. That's all I was worried about was writing it. Sometimes we go further. I'm going to talk about that in another step. But sometimes we try to write, stop, think, write, stop, think. I just wrote. I just wrote. That's all I did. The second thing what is t in your writing journey is to expect delays. Believe me, delays are going to come up. You're not going to be able to write for some reason. You may get sick. Family's going to be involved. Your work is going to be involved. Your business is going to be involved in some kind of way. Uh, the power may go out. The computer won't work. Your pens run out. Some, something is going to happen to delay you. I had a couple of different delays. You know, life comes up, family comes up, things, and you sometimes you have to just stop. You have to stop everything that you're doing and go take care of what the emergency is, but then you always get back on track. Luckily, I had a couple of partners and all of you out there who are listening right now helped me to keep on track because I would always post on social media, I'm, you know, I'm writing my book, I'm getting my book done. And if I stopped for some reason and I didn't have some updates, you would always come to me and say, Carol, what's up with the book? What, what you doing? How, when is it coming out? So I was like, okay, I got to get back on track. So that's number two, expect delays. Number three is to write your way. What I mean by that is, you don't have to sit down um, and just write, 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 write. You don't have to um, just put everything off and you don't have to write on a certain day in a certain hour in the morning or in the night or in a closet or whatever. Write however it works for you. I, had, I know one of, my, one of my colleagues, she actually wrote her book by dictating it. And she said she had tried for months to write the doggone thing and nothing was coming out. So she knew she could she could get her thoughts out by talking. So all she did was dictated it. And then she had someone transcribe it. When they sent her the transcription, she turned that into her book. And I told you, I had to longhand write my stuff out and then input it into the computer. Maybe you can type on the computer. Good for you. I, I can't. I can't type and think on the computer. I guess that's probably old school, but this is how I am. Uh, I knew another author who actually rented a hotel and she went to the hotel for a whole week and she just wrote 
That's all that she did. So it depends on what you want to do. So however you need to do, write your way. Uh, number four is to write now and research later. I said a little bit about this, and that means that whatever you're writing, just write. Don't research on it. Don't stop and say, oh, I need to find out the statistics for this. Oh, I need to stop and create a chart. Oh, I need to stop and do anything. Just write. Just all you do is just write. Get it out of your brain. Write. Write it down. It doesn't matter. My, my goal was to do at least a thousand words every time I sit down and to only write for an hour. So if the hour came and I had 2,000 words, fine. If the hour came and I had 1,000 words, great. If I only had 500 words, that's how it happened. Some, it, it, just depend, it just depends on whatever, but I set that time apart, a schedule, from 7 to 8, and whatever I got done was what I got done. And then at the end, when I finished all the writing, I put it together, and I went back, and I put in the charts, the graphs, the stats. I did the research and stuff. So there's a time for writing. As the, as the Bible said, there's a time for everything. There's a time for writing, and there's a time for researching. So make sure you don't muddle those up. And then number five is lead readers to your business. So when you're in there writing and you're getting all your stuff together and you go back and you research things and you're putting stuff in, make sure that you drop these seeds or nuggets about your business and lead people back to your business in your book. Because as I said, you're in this business to actually fund your lifestyle. So the book is going to help you raise your authority so that people look up to you, know, like, trust you, and buy from you. So you want to help them buy from you, not only buying the book. Because if you look at it, I'm charging $19.99 for my book, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. How many books do I need to sell to make a million dollars? A lot of books, right? So it's not about selling the book. It's about getting out there and becoming the authority figure so that people look up to me and say, hey, she's the author of that book. So I need to follow her. I need to see what she's doing. I need to work with her. So in your book, make sure you're seeding what you do. And what I did was in the very beginning of the book, because this is a little secret. A lot of people don't know unless you're kind of in the industry. But when you put your book on Amazon, there is a look inside where you can see, you can examine parts of the book and see. So what I made sure I did along with uh, in, um, inputting parts of the book that people could see, um, actually what the book was, you know, the intro part, some other pieces, I put in there testimonials that people could read about real clients who have worked with me and what they've said. Not only that, but I put something awesome in the very beginning of the book that people could take advantage of, and that's my Four Pillars of Online Business Success webinar series that they get absolutely free. It's a $297 value they can get absolutely free. So even if they never purchase the book, they can click on that link and go get that and go get that program and take advantage of learning how to make their business successful. Now, you may say, Karen, why are you giving that away for free? Because it's a great program, number one. Number two, it leads them to my website and lets them learn more about me. And number three, they click that link, they get on my mailing list. So if you click that link, you get on my mailing list, too, if you're not already there. So you see what I'm saying? Lead people to your business. Because as um, my writing coach, Anita R. Henderson, says, it's bigger than the book. The book is great. The book is awesome. The book is a way to establish yourself as an authority in your niche. But it's only one piece of, the, of your marketing toolbox. So make sure you know that. So let me go over these again. The five ways to get your book written and done right now is the number one, create a writing schedule. It will take you now, depending on how how fast you write or how much you do. I have a friend of mine, <laughs> Bernadette Harris, who is a super duper uh, bunny, the Energizer Bunny. She wrote a book on a weekend, but it's a good book. It had, she had a, you know, a very good reason for writing it. She wanted to establish herself as a fraud investigator for a, a forensic accountant, fraud investigator. So she wanted to establish herself, and that's what the book is about. That's fine. It may take you a weekend to write the book. It took me 90 days. My book is a little under 200 pages, and I wanted to put all of my 23 years of experience and knowledge in that book in, inside these 10 strategies. So just create a writing schedule. Stick to it. Uh, number two, expect delays. Delays are going to happen. Things are going to – hey, Natalie, thanks for joining in. Delays are going to happen. Think life gets in the way. That's okay. You know, sometimes that stuff happens, but you have to get back on track. 
because if I didn't, the book wouldn't be here now. And for those of you who didn't see before, this is the book. Hey, 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 is there. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how you can get it in just a second. Uh, number three, write your way, however it is that you write. If you need to dictate, dictate. If you need to sit down and write, sit down and write. If you need to write it longhand, then put it in a computer, fine. However you need to write it, get the book written. And number four is right now, then research. So write everything you need to write out now and then research that stuff later. Because if you stop, write, stop, write, stop, you'll never get it done. I know I've known people who have been writing a book for like 10 years. It doesn't take you that long to write a book. It should not. And believe me, like I said, I wrote the book in 90 days and now it's here. Of course, you know, because I said about a life and stuff, just getting everything together took a little while longer. But the book's finally here. That's the end game. Uh, number five is the lead readers to your business. Make sure you put little nuggets, little seeds in your book that lead them to your business. Offer them something in the very front of the book so that when they get that look inside thing on Amazon, they can see, hey, these people love Carol. They love working with her. They love working with you. And you've got something free to give them. And then uh, to let you know, also, in each chapter, each strategy is followed by a um, let me see if I can find it right here. Okay, let's go to the run for president. Everybody loves that run for president thing. So in the bottom, in the end, I have, you see that? A get it done strategy checklist. And I also have uh, download the tracking sheet to help you locate the right groups. So run for president is all, is all about how you pick a great group to be a part of, like an organization or a group, and then you work your way up in the group to one of the top levels, president, vice president, whatever. And as you work your way up in the group, your business follows right along with you. So what I did was I wrote a whole chapter about that. I have a case study in there. I talk about my own experience. I have a checklist for what you need to do. And I have a group, a group tracking a sheet that you can get on the website. So what did I do? I showed you my expertise. I showed you why this is important. I showed you exactly how to do it. I gave you step-by-step -step instruction. I showed you a client of mine who was actually doing what I said to do. And I, led, I lead you to my website to say, hey, if you want this, there's a freebie that you can get. All you got to do is log on here. That puts people onto my list. And then guess what I get to do? I get to talk to them even more because when I send out other emails and stuff, they're right there. They're part of it. So that's, that's what a book can do for you. That is how you become the authority in your niche. So now, if you want to know the other 10 strategies that are in this book, all you need to do is go to csicorporation.com slash book. And I'm going to write it here. WWC corporation, <coughs> excuse me, dot com slash book. And there are two things that you could do. Number one, you can get the Kindle version of your book by clicking on that red button that says buy now. That'll give you the Kindle version of the book. It's only $7.99. But if you want to give the gift of business success, of marketing your business success to a friend, to yourself, and get it autographed and save $5, you click on the other link that says buy two or more. And right now, if, if you buy two or more, I have a, um, a discount that you're going to get anyway. You get a percentage off. I think it's you can buy two copies, five copies, or ten copies, and you get a percentage off, a higher percentage the more you buy. And if you use this coupon, Unmarket Book, put that in at checkout, you're going to save $5. So already there's a big, you know, there's a big discount for buying two or more books. So you're going to save $5 off of that. And why am I doing that? Because I want you to be able to give the gift of business success to your friends, your family, your loved ones, so more people can get to be a part of this. Now, I work with women entrepreneurs. I've been a woman entrepreneur for years, uh, over 23, as a matter of fact, and I know how hard it is to figure out what are the strategies that I need to use to market my business, to figure out which ones do I need to invest in, and to figure out how I need to do them. The great thing about this book is I have low-cost and no-cost strategies in there. It'll cost you some time, but it won't cost you any money. And there are ways for you, and there are other ones that are, you know, very 
low cost that you can put into place. So you take your pick, you figure out, and, and then at the very end of the book, there's a part three to it that shows you, that tells you, okay, this is how you choose the marketing strategies that are for you. And I give you step by step by step and show you what you need to do to figure out which ones will work for you. Because the biggest thing that I hear from most uh, women entrepreneurs is that they can't figure out which what strategies to put in place for their business. It's all too confusing and overwhelming. So I've broken all that down for you. And so if you will go to csicorporation.com slash book, you can get your copy of the book. You have two choices. You can get the Kindle version, which is available right now. All you need to do is download it. If you click the other link that says buy two or more copies, I will actually autograph each copy for you and send it to you. And it's regularly $19.99, but you already get a discount for buying two or more, but you can actually save $5 now by putting in the code at checkout Unmarket Book. So that's all I have for you today. Please join me again tomorrow at 11 a.m. and I'll have another strategy for you. We're going to be talking about social media. You know that's the strategy I love the most. So I'll give you some direction about how you can use social media to market your business successfully and get ready for Black Friday weekend. See you tomorrow. Bye.